Okay guys, now we are going to see the most common topics in IELTS speaking and how to deal with them. I'll give you these topics as well. First of all, there is a topic about scenery. It's your topic. Just you can prepare it, right? Uh, whenever there is a topic about scenery, they will ask you how is the scenery in your hometown. And if, I mean, scenery doesn't mean greenery. Sometimes we think scenery is only mountains and greenery and all that. If there is some green belt in your, uh, in, in, uh, in your locality, you can talk about that. For example, you say, uh, is there good scenery in your hometown? You say, yes, in my hometown, we've got very beautiful scenery. First of all, there are some concrete buildings and these buildings look very beautiful at night. On the other hand, we've got some greenery as well. So just like this, okay? Uh, so whatever they ask you about, scenery you got to talk about it that is your topic let's go on next one is laugh laugh means comedy you have this book please open this book and you'll find it help her please it's topic 82 so laugh means to be happy to make other people happy whether you watch comedy programs comedy videos and all that so that is going to be the next one next yours miss 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 yours is spending time by yourself 83 Spending time by yourself means spending time alone, right? Whenever you are free and you are all alone, what do you do? Okay, yeah, when children are alone, they, they are so dangerous. So spending time by yourself means what do you do when you are alone? Do you like to spend time alone and all that? I'm telling you one thing in this class, you will get one topic each. But uh, all the students, they're going to get different topics. So listen to this carefully and you'll be clear about it. So topic number 83, spending time by yourself. Okay, let's go on. Uh, well, we'll just go on one by one. You please. Topic number 84, number. For number, they will ask you what is your favorite number. Now, even if you don't believe in numbers, you can say my favorite number is one. Because I want to be number one in my life. Okay, so anything say my favorite number is zero because when you add zero after any number it increases the value of that 10 100 1000 and all that. Okay, so you can talk about any number whatsoever it is. Okay Next we have break now break now break doesn't mean to break anything take a break Do you like to take a for example you study for three hours after one hour you take a break or any other break do you prefer long break short break then they may ask you some questions about weekend and all that and remember if question is with do you that is past tense you're not in state you're not in learning state of mind i said do you is in the past tense and you're saying eh, 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 eh. carry on to see class chala wasi baithe hain be active dummy ban ke na baithe class mein kursi mein aur aap mein kam az kam thoda sa to farak hona chahiye Huh? Do you is future? Good. So listen now. Do you is in present tense? Did you is in past tense? Will you is in future tense? If they say will you, you will use future tense for that. Do you present tense? Did you? Past tense. Be active in the class. Okay? Yeah. I'm just giving. I'm just, I've just uh, been there. Yeah. Topic number 86 haircut. You. Yeah. Ho gaya done? 86. Haircut. Very simple haircut. They will ask you, do you like your haircut? No, I'm, I'm very unhappy with my haircut. Yesterday what happened with me. So anyways. So haircut, hairstyle. Do you like long hair, short hair, and all that? So just get ready for that. If they ask you about haircut, hairstyle, hairdo, it's all fine. Let's go on. Next one is area you live in. Fine. Yeah. Smile. Yeah, good. You smile like this. Okay. <laughs> area you live in. Now listen. Area you live in is not the city. It's the locality. For example, if someone lives in Model Town, Faisal Town, all right, wherever you live in, that is the area you live in. You will talk about that. Okay, they say, do you like the area you live in? I live in Lahore. Lahore is beautiful and all that. No, you will talk about your locality. Okay, you can say the area where I live, it's really beautiful. I like that area because there are only few houses in that very part. And uh, our street is very peaceful and all that. Okay. 
uh, so whose topic is that? Yeah, again, you smile. Keep smiling all the time, right? Yeah. Next is tea, coffee. Easy topic, tea, coffee. They will ask you, do you like tea? And they will ask you, do you prefer tea or coffee? Would you like to drink tea when guests come to your place? Do you like tea or coffee? And all that. Like, do people in your country like to drink tea or coffee? What do you say? Cha or coffee? Cha. All right. Yeah. So you'll just answer. And remember one thing. Don't just look for these questions and answers. The answers given here, they are not standard. Okay. Just see this is the question and this is the topic. If I ask you any question on tea, coffee, you should be able to answer. Okay. Just, just follow the topic. Don't follow these questions and these answers. Only the topic. Okay. Let's go on. Next one, please. Yes. Uh, voice. Topic is voice, not wife, voice, I said. Yeah, you're smiling. Voice. Voice means, do you like your voice? I love my voice. My voice is so beautiful. Whenever I sing, the birds come around <laughs> or anything like that. Okay. So do you like your voice? Is your voice similar to any of your family member? Okay. Does your voice change? Right. Or has your voice changed over time? So they will ask you any question. Now, let me tell you one thing. Why are we doing this? I want you all to be familiar with these topics. It's not that there do you go for IELTS speaking part one and they ask you questions about voice and you say, I never thought about it. I don't know how to answer. So that is why this is what I say, familiarization with such type of topics. So you should be familiar. If they ask you about voice, you'd say, ah, voice, ah, I read it in the book, okay? But don't tell this to the examiner. They give you a cue card, you look at the cue card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay? And the iratta lagaya, see, okay? Don't do this, okay? Otherwise, examiner will doubt you and then you'll get low bench score. So just control yourselves. All right, let's go on. Now, who's the next one? Who is the next one? Yes, you, please. Language. Okay, language. Uh, now, this language is not the language of cow or buffalo or this language, okay? Uh, this language is English, French, Spanish and all that. So, do you want to learn another language? How many languages do you speak and all that? And uh, try to use signpost language in your answer. If they say, how many languages do you speak? First of all, I speak Punjabi. It's my mother tongue. And as I am from Pakistan, we have Urdu as national language. And I'm very fluent in that as well. And I also know English because and then something like that. First of all, secondly, finally, this is called signposting. This will improve your bench score. Next, please. Topic is smile. Smile. <laughs> like this. Okay. So do you always smile? You say, no, I, I don't always smile. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, do you always smile? No, I don't always smile. Kamalas and Kamalias, they smile always. Yeah, you know, some we say if someone is smiling all the time, it's a sign. Okay, so you got to see that. Do you always smile? Do you which tense? Present. Present. Should people smile more? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. Next one, please. Topic number 92, we've got jeans. Now, this is the pair of jeans you wear, right? It's not the jeans you say, it is in my jeans. Okay, yeah. So, jeans, jeans, uh, pant, uh, yeah. All right. So, do you like jeans? Why do people wear jeans? What's your favorite color in jeans, right? Why do people wear jeans uh, casually and all that? They can be any question, but keep in mind jeans. Okay, yeah. So, what is the benefit of jeans? You don't need to wash it. Chitani gandhi utani achi, you know? All right, let's go on. Next one, please. Walking. Walking. Now, walking means going for a walk in the morning and you can talk about it. For example, do you walk a lot? Where do you go for a walk and all that? Okay. Topic number 94, plan. Now, this plan is like, do you make plans every day? And say, yes, of course, I do make plans every day. Whenever I start my day, I know what to do and what is coming ahead. And I, decide, I, I always plan the things ahead of time. So to answer your question, obviously, I plan my each day like this. Okay. Yeah, don't say I don't plan. Whatever comes, comes. Whatever goes, goes. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> don't do like this. Next one is festival. Topic number 95. So you can talk about any festival, any religious festival, any cultural festival or anything like that. But whenever you talk about festival, make sure you know the appropriate wording or appropriate vocabulary. 
and don't choose any word from urdu like uh, i i like eid festival very much because of samiyas and sometimes we have rasmalai i like rasmalai very much and then i go to my cousins how they write a gulab jamun my cousin likes barfi but i like gulab jamun so not like this okay you you got my point try to speak 100% english and if you say my favorite food is biryani it is a traditional rice dish so if you use any word any terminology then you should explain what it is got it yes okay after festival let's go on all done here it's your turn please island now this is a bit unusual topic island is which is surrounded by water right it's a dry piece of land surround, surrounded by sea or surrounded by water all four sides water island so have you ever been to any island present perfect tense if you've not been to an any island don't worry you might have seen a movie about it and all that so you can talk about island without any problem okay are there any islands in your country you said no in my country we don't have any islands yes there could be some islands in one of the cities karachi because we have seaside there but i don't know much about that answer every question even if you don't know the answer give the reason why you don't know the answer for example have you ever been to any island no i've never been to any island but once i watched a movie cast away and there the person lived in, on an island and he was all alone so i like the idea of living on an island but to answer your question myself i've never been to any island in my whole life see have you ever been to any island yes no <laughs> okay and then jido gaye ni to sanu ki pata okay so not like this it, it there should not be anything like sanu ni pata let's go on after that we've got driving so do you like driving how often do you drive and all that topic number 97 driving topic number 98 sky they will they'll ask you some questions do you look at the sky you say yes i look at the sky okay no problem i love the sky i like beautiful sky right and uh, the sky is so uh, blue if you go to mountain areas and all that so how about stars talk about stars talk about skies and all that next we have crowded places yes please you hello crowded places crowded places means like a place where there are so many people what what places are crowded shopping malls markets railway stations airports hospitals so uh, what places do you think are often crowded you can talk about the places when was the last time you were in a crowded place okay so you'll talk about the crowded and and let me tell you don't think about the answers actually when was the last time you were in a crowded place and you start thinking last time mai kab gaya tha no just answer last week i went to a shopping mall and they had 50% discount on everything and it was full of people there were people everywhere and i didn't feel good about that there were thousands of people and then after 10 minutes i came back home because i don't like crowded places understand har sawal ka answer dena phad lo phad lo like this don't think too much don't give reality based answers exaggerate you know exaggerate aap kya karte hain मैं आजकल एक प्रोजेक्ट पे काम कर रहा हूँ अपना बिल क्लिंटन के साथ उनकी वाइफ है ना हेलरी हेलरी बाजी वो और मैं हमारी एक अच्छी कंपनी है समथिंग लाइक दैट जस्ट गो ऑन गो ऑन आंसर शुड बी रेलिवेंट इट शुड बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन वट द क्वेश्चन इज एंड गो ऑन विद इट ये लेट्स गो ऑन शेयरिंग शेयरिंग इज caring i don't care okay so you can talk about sharing do you like say, sharing things did your parents teach you how to share things and all that don't worry and keep in mind three uh, five tenses present simple past simple future simple present perfect present perfect continuous these five tenses will cover everything about ielts speaking part 1 part 2 and part 3 okay next is patience patience means you have bardash tolerance in you right you are patient person and all that okay then we have sunglasses simple topic yeah topic do you have uh, do you have a pair of sunglasses yes i have a very good collection of sunglasses in fact one cupboard in my house is full of sunglasses 6 700 pairs and i like these sunglasses very much every day i change 10 to 15 sunglasses so to answer your question i like sunglasses very much ha huh? okay so how often you wear them and how have you ever lost sunglasses and all that okay yeah assalam alaikum uh, next drinking water okay drinking water still so they ask you do you like to drink water 
do you want to drink cold water or the other one and all that recently i made a video uh, there was a native speaker has anybody watched that with chess british lady so i asked her some questions and yeah, about water and all that yeah yeah she showed a statue as well okay question uh, topic 104 maps now they will talk to you about uh, digital maps google map paper map why do we need to use the maps and all that okay uh, again if you find any topic unusual make yourself familiar with that don't think that mujhe to maps aana hi nahi hai right if you run away from a type of questions you will get that more often next one uh, okay maps is your being bold being bold means what do you do when you, and, and please one correction uh, you should say i feel bored b o r e d don't say i feel bored right i feel bored i feel bored i am bored don't say i am bored i am bored i feel bored and all that okay so being bored like what do you do when you feel bored how often do you feel bored and all that let's go on next one please foreign food now foreign food is anything like shawarma chinese noodles and all that that's all foreign food okay you can even talk about pizza that is foreign food next one saving money how to save money right and uh, did you save money when you were a child what do you do when you save money and do you think children should save money and all that okay it's simple topic next is physical exercise yeah physical exercise jogging running nothing and all that okay yeah so you can talk about it what kind of exercise do you do you say at the moment i'm not doing any exercise because i've got very busy schedule yes once a week on sundays i play football so that is the only physical thing i do otherwise i don't take any physical exercise got it every question should be answered confidently with full interest they ask you a question is okay i give you the answer i tell you what is the answer to this question like this with full interest and enthusiasm excitement yeah that's important next we have travel to space yeah travel to space sir you say mai kadi marit ke nahi gaya the travel to space is something beyond my understanding travel to space do you want to travel to outer space do you understand yeah it's him yeah you travel to space you you got to talk about it all right uh what would you do if you had the opportunity to go to the moon and all that right yeah let's go on how many of you think if we go to the moon and we look down and we'll say earth is that possible no from planet earth we don't look down we look up or we look around so same is with the moon you'll got to look around or look up and then someone tell you that is planet earth Wow, that's going to be awesome, huh? In the next 10 20 years it's going to be possible. Let's go on. Dream job. Dream job. Now you can talk about your dream job. What's your dream job? So, what's your dream job? Huh? Husband is not a job. Husband is marital status. What's your dream job? <laughs> okay? You want to become a pilot insaan very good all right that's your dream job okay all right no worries next one please animals your topic is animals yeah simple topic do you like animals what's your favorite animal and all that okay let's go on please you dictionary uh you can talk about digital dictionary uh paper dictionary and all that stuff okay yeah This is unusual topic. Next is mobile applications. It's a simple topic. You can talk about mobile apps and all that. Then we have sleep. Now sleep means how uh, how many hours do you sleep each day? Do you find it easy to sleep? Do you find it easy to get up? Do you get up early in the morning? Just like that. Okay? Yeah. Is it necessary to take a nap every day? Just like this. Next, handwriting. Okay so they ask you like do you think handwriting is still important and all that Next we have weekends the easiest topic weekend means saturday sunday so whatever you do on saturday sunday they will ask you and you can answer okay After weekends we have uh, transportation for you transportation public transport buses cars and all that Next we have watch this watch right do you like watch and uh, do you wear watch 
right what type of watches do you like digital watch and all that next we have visitors for you uh, visitors means do you often invite friends to visit your house visitors mean the people who come to your house your friends or your relatives or your extended family members when they come to your house we call them visitors next we have dream who is the last one there koi bhi dekh nahi raha you your topic is dreams and what's the question do you often have dreams at night say yes i do i often have dreams at night and my most of my dreams are about lion because i like lion very something like that okay uh yeah have you ever had a bad dream you say yes i had a bad dream i saw my own face in my dream and i was really panicked and all that next one is family middle yeah family easy topic how often do you meet with your family so yeah you say i meet with my family every day every minute and last one friends okay there hello friends your topic is friends and don't say my best friend don't tell the full essay thank you don't tell the full essay of my best friend just part uh, speak partially thank you thank you do you have many friends and all that now you got the topics and uh, let me tell you yes you didn't get the topic topic number 124 advertisement anyone else who came late yes topic number 125 art okay you'll speak about art so these are the topics i give you a couple of minutes and then i'm going to invite you on the stage right tin tin ko bula ke izzat afzai karunga puri theek hai yeah that's good thank you yeah excuse me if you if you belong to indian punjab and you know there is something we call andrasa so if in indian punjab you do have andrasas please comment this video i just want to know whether we've got this thing in punjab as well we've got uh, a city here in lahore uh, uh, close to lahore kasur city so th this item is very popular from kasur city and that kasur city is very close to firozpur indian side firozpur pakistani side kasur city so do comment and let me know about it